Well, as children return to school, the holidays haven't been as easy for some. The drought in particular has made it tough on students. The Isolated Children's Parents Association is in Queensland is highlighting the need for support and understanding for families. Joining me now live to discuss this is Tammy Irons, ICPA Queensland President. Tammy, good afternoon to you. Thank you for joining me. Thanks, Tanika, for inviting me. Firstly, what have the holidays been like for, for some students? Can you explain exactly what they're experiencing? Yeah, I think for a lot of students across Queensland in particular, but indeed across the country in the current drought climate, have definitely not had the holiday that many would normally experience. We've seen a lot of kids that have been at home uh, helping their families, uh, taking relief um, off mum and dad, and they've been doing things like feeding um, at cattle and other animals, cattle and sheep. They've also been doing water runs, as a lot of them have run out of water. They've also been uh, taking care of potty calves where mothers have died, etc. And obviously some of them have even had to um, help to destroy cattle in some circumstances. And how tough then can that transition be going back to school or boarding life after spending, uh, you know, holidays really doing it tough? Yeah, I think we've seen that a lot of the students are actually relieved to head back to school to get more of a uh, break from the workload. It, it's really hard for them when they head back. They've got a lot of concern about leaving their parents behind to do it again on their own. So we're seeing a lot of concern, I guess, around the well-being and the mental health of our students. And we're really keen to get that message out there that these kids, um, their, their mental health is of the utmost importance and we really need to look out for them. Now, you sent a letter to schools and, and, and principals and educators uh, explaining this essentially about the mental health of students, what they've potentially been going through over the holidays. Why did you feel the need to do so? Just upon discussion with our members, we find that while our boarding staff across Queensland and again, indeed, across the country are incredibly understanding, they spend a lot of the time over the holidays speaking to our families and to the kids that they have every year. They're very understanding of how it goes on. We were more concerned around the general day-to-day -day teaching staff and their understanding of what these children had been going through over the holidays. So we decided it was actually imperative to get this message out there across to all of the teaching staff. So we sent this letter to the heads of um, all of the boarding schools across Queensland in the hope that they would pass that on to their staff and it would give them some idea of what these kids had been doing throughout the holidays, the circumstances, including things like not being able to have uh, lengthy showers or indeed showers at all, washing hair, uh, being able to water the garden, um, just having to recycle every single bit of water and, and not even being able to have potentially clean sheets on their beds as often as they would like. Uh, we've spoken about the impact on students, but also from a, a parent's perspective, is, going, is their kids going back to school, is that almost a, a transition for them as well? Absolutely. It puts the um, weight back on the parents' shoulders. They've probably really appreciated having the assistance from their kids over the holidays, but also I think in the time of drought when things are really tough, there's nothing nicer than being together as a family at home. So holidays for boarding school parents are always a really important time. At the moment, sending them back for some, obviously with the cost, is actually um, driving them to, uh, I guess, a, a lot of decisions that have to be made around can they actually afford to keep continuing their children's education uh, at the boarding school and how they're going to, to keep just keep going in general and the actual uh, emotional upheaval on families and on parents as these decisions come is is actually just increasingly uh, weighing on their mental health. How important is it to have this conversation uh, particularly you know with schools and with educators uh, so that they can know the signs of, of whether if a child is struggling, perhaps, as you talked about, with, with mental health. Yeah, we think it's really incredibly vital that these teachers are really aware of how um, to do that. A lot of the schools uh, work with um, professionals that actually help to identify these sorts of, uh, I guess, um, indicators within uh, their children in their class so they can actually have those conversations with them if that's what the child chooses to do. And of course, the boarding staff undergo really a lot of training around that as well in how to identify and keeping an eye on these kids. So we're really keen to make sure that these issues are upfront and um, in front of everybody's minds as we go into the school year. Absolutely. It's an incredibly important conversation to be having. Tammy Irons, ICPA Queensland President, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thank you, Danica.